Here we are! Federal Reserve Bank, Miami branch. Is your alligator okay? Hasn't slept in weeks. We gotta get our ride chair numbers up. He just needs his energy drink. He'll be fine. His tail fell off. Kindly rate us five stars. Tips welcome. So wait, is the Federal Reserve part of the federal government? It's in the name, ain't it? It's a little more complicated than that. The Fed operates independently of the federal government, but its Board of Governors is nominated by the President of the United States and confirmed by the US Senate. And as you might expect, they're not always the best people for the job. The Fed has made a lot of bad decisions over the years. They're just as susceptible to politics as the politicians who put them in power. That's a mighty fine tongue twist and alliteration you got there, eyebrows. But for a place you claim can print all the money it wants, she don't look like much. Where's the chandeliers at? The champagne? The help passing around whores to Ivory's with masks on? That's, that's hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, I don't see any. The Fed doesn't exactly print money. What it does is issue credit to banks, expanding the actual supply of money and creating inflation. This sometimes happens in the form of quantitative easing and other similar policies, which the Fed engages in whenever the market crashes. This is supposed to be rolled back when things get better, but whenever it comes time to do any kind of quantitative tightening, they chicken out because it generally means a market downturn. Instead of seeing a crash as a correction to the market, they try to forestall the next one, making the inevitable collapse all the more worse. Like juicing up your gator when it should be resting. Don't you insult the mighty gator. He can go forever. But once the bubble pops, instead of just getting a crash, we get a worse crash plus inflation. Sounds like we'd all be a lot better off if the Federal Reserve didn't actually exist. So, how are we getting home? Yeah! Everybody, get on my back! Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.